you guys what's going on this is Preston here from the computer TV network today I've been adding up to this and adding up to this today I'm gonna teach you guys how to build a computer it's really easy this video is gonna get you like up to date and exactly what you're looking at and how to understand it alright well what this is this is a P5 Q3 motherboard from Asus so let's go ahead and check this out what we're gonna go ahead and start on is installing the CPU First off, you're going to want to remove this little safety item right here. It's to cover these small pins because these little tiny pins are extremely sensitive to everything. What you're going to want to do from there is you're going to want to go ahead and lift this latch right here. Once you pull that up, make sure you pull it all the way. Then once you do that, you're going to want to push up on this back part and open it up. So you're going to want to pull up on this latch. Once you pull that latch up, there's a little a little thing you can hit right here. So push it up. There you can just take your finger like that and bring it up. And then from there, you're going to want to put your CPU in. CPU comes here. This is the stock cooler that comes with the CPU. Let's go ahead and remove the CPU out of this tray. Now remember, when you use this CPU and when you touch it, remember it's extremely, extremely sensitive. So you're going to want to open it, pull it out. You're going to want to handle this by its sides. Now when you first get the CPU, it's going to have this little casing on it. Just slowly, slowly peel that casing off, right? Just like that. Simple, easy. Alright. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this. Alright, so you're going to want to start your CPU just like this, simply lay it in there, make sure you can move it around and it's secure, don't move it around too much, just make sure that it's at least secure. You're going to want to hold this down, it may seem like you're putting a little too much pressure on it, but that's fine, that's just to make sure that the CPU stays tight in there and it doesn't fall out. Then from there, you're set on installing your CPU. Now let's go ahead and get into how you install your CPU fan. Alright, now to install this fan, what you're going to want to do is what comes with your fans is called, it's called a, it's a component, but it's called thermal paste. So what you do is you take this thermal paste, you squeeze a small little tiny bit, out onto the top of the CPU. You don't want too much, but not having enough ain't good either. Let's go ahead and spray that on there like so. You just rub that around a little bit. Put that thermal paste on there. It is kind of thick. It seems like it'd be a little smaller. It's not. I mean, it seems like it wouldn't be such a thick component, but it actually is pretty thick. Once you rub that on there, I mean, you can rub a little bit on the cooler if you like. I'm not going to personally. So, uh, let's go ahead and start installing this. So, what you're going to want to do is usually, if you got a side that's got one fan, you're going to want the fan to be facing the RAM. Let's go ahead and hold this wire up here while we install this. So you're going to lift up the motherboard, a stick, make sure that these things they should fall right into the screws. Once they fall into the screws, you're going to want to bring it up. Face the motherboard somewhat on its back, about like that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut and switch to a different scene for you guys. All right, now what you're gonna want to do that's not quite so visible on this camera is once you get these screws coming through here, there's a screw here, 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 and here coming from the CPU. Now, when you order this and you get your stuff in, what you'll get is you'll get a small attachment that goes on the bottom.
your attachment should look about like this. You're gonna do you're gonna take this slide that and slide it right on top and with it comes your little tiny screws what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick these on you're gonna start feeding them on there yourself by hand at first so you just feed a little bit on there like that and copy with the same copy it just like the same I don't want you to do that. What comes in the package is this little, this little. It's kind of just like an adapter for your uh, screwdriver, just a, just like a socket. And stick that on there, just like so. And just start screwing it in with your regular screwdriver. Alright guys, now we're going to go ahead, and as you can see though, I did already do the wiring, only because wiring is pretty much free lace, like, you wire how you feel you want it wired, I mean, there's not really an exact method to wiring your computer, what you're going to want to do is make sure that all the wires are out of your way when you install the motherboard, so this is exactly what we're going to do right now, is install this motherboard. Alright. What we're going to do, is it safe to lift it up by the fan? Yes, actually it is pretty safe to lift this up by the fan. And lure it down safely. Very, very safely in the air. What you're going to want to do, if you've already done it like this, so I've actually already made a mistake, you're going to want to install your plate here first. Well, let's go ahead and... Get that plate out of the box and install it right now. Alright, just install this plate right here, what I'm talking about. All you do is take it just like this. Pop it in the back of here. And pop it in. There you go. Baby's all popped in. Then we're gonna keep these fans, this wires out of the way. And just, just nicely, slowly feed these cables into the back of the computer. And make sure that while you're feeding them, that you can see the holes that you're gonna use to screw it into the motherboard on the bottom. Alright, now once you've got the motherboard in place, you're going to want to get the screws that came with your computer and start installing this. So let's go ahead and take our screws we got here. Pour a few in your hand, sit them down. Pretty much, all you do is screw your first screw in. It 